Hello everyone, Rodimus2099, back here with another review. I am reviewing the Hulk, well, first appearance of Hulk with Wolverine 2-pack from the new 80th year, the 80-year anniversary line. So, how we're going to do this review, so we're going to start off by reviewing Wolverine, then we're going to get on to Hulk, and then some size comparison, and then you'll watch someone else's video. Alright, so... <laughs> Starting off with Wolverine. Now, this is the exact... This is pretty much the new mold, which I, I like this mold. It has the nice articulation that I love and a good physique. Good physique. And actually, surprisingly, Wolverine was my first newish Marvel legend. One that wasn't from any movie or anything that I just saw a review of and thought, hey, that's pretty good. So, uh, of course, we're just going to be comparing him to him. The entire time. Because he is him. So, the legs. Straight down from the waist down. Everything is the same. Don't need to cover that. From the bicep down, everything is the same. Don't need to cover that. And the chest is the same. Don't need to cover that. Now, new additions are the belt. This is more of a belt. That is more of an X-Men waistband. The shoulder pads. These are much slimmer and in turn, more awkward. The big, bold ones really make it, it look nice. And then three, the heads. But that's obviously going to be Switch. Now, if you pointed a gun at me and said, which is your favorite head, there is a wrong answer. I would say this guy. This one. This one looks like Wolverine. This one... Sort of looks like someone took the Wolverine normal face sculpt and just stuck it inside a mask. And that's not a compliment. Because this looks like crazy angry. And I really don't like that. And I feel that we could have gotten a better head sculpt. Because I pr would have preferred more of a calm expression in that comic. He wasn't too angry. And most times that you have first appearance Wolverine, they're calm. And yeah, Wolverine's not supposed to be calm. But, I do actually have a first appearance Wolverine. And 3.75 inch. Now, this is a great face sculpt. It's calm, but still Wolverine-esque. In the comic, he wasn't too angry, so I don't like that this is just pure rage. This one is obviously angry, but you could still fit that in as some sort of normal kind of look. And the flesh tone is very weird. Where this felt more of tan, this looks like he hasn't seen the light of day for years. <laughs> That's all I really got to say about him. I mean, nothing's too different about this guy. Except for the coloring. And the coloring is something that I really like. Uh, blues are very bright. And sort of reminds me of that golden age of comics where everything was very bright and colorful. And there was no real darkness to them. They had some shading, but the dark colors were sort of just there. But I still think this is a great Wolverine to be included with a great Hulk figure. Speaking of Hulk, let's move on to him after we cover articulation. So there is a butterfly joint here. The shoulder uh, pads, shoulder blades, uh, they are on an inch so that you can make them look either more awkward or less awkward. Um, he has a swivel, a hinge that goes out that much and forward in 360. He has a double jointed, he has a double bend, but his Bicep is so big that he can't do it. Hinge, 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 swivel. Ball joint, 360 degrees. Looks up. Looks up that much. And looks down that much. He has an ab crunch going back that much. Going forward that much. There's a full 360 rotation. Legs can cut that much. Can go back that much. Full 360 swivel. Double bend. Pretty good bend. Hinge, hinge, rotation, rotation, rotation. And of course you can use his uh, ankle rocker pivot to really get a wide stance. But also just have to include same old Wolverine claws. Nothing different about them besides coloring. And guess what? They came bent too. Mine came severely bent. Definitely if you're in the store, pick one that's Less bent than these. <laughs> they have full bends in all of them, and it's pain in my 
yeah, to, it's a pain in my ass. I don't, I don't really want to swear on this channel, but it's a pain in my ass to fix. I don't know why I became Southern all of a sudden. But, let's move on to the real meat of this two-pack. If it wasn't for this guy, you would not buy it. It is Hulk. Um, this guy is very big, so it's going to be hard to get him in frame most times. So, if I knock over my background, you're going to understand why. This guy is very big. So, we're going to start off first by just doing general uh, accessories. He does come with two pairs of hands, open ones and closed ones. Those are easy. They're just normal poppy poppy, outy outy. He comes with, which is probably one of the best Hulk accessories ever, the ripped jacket, which from day one that I saw this, I wasn't too sure about the Hulk figure, but I'm sure about this. I definitely need needed this, and I can't wait to use this on maybe Professor Hulk or something, uh, but this will just be a cool little accessory. It's made out of very soft plastic. But you get nice details, there's like a button, there's the whole color. Nice little packets, you see the creases from the actual jacket, how they do the T. <laughs> and then, yeah, it's just a great piece. I think this is great. Uh, please do more stuff like that. Now, Hulk, I gotta say, my first pro is the head sculpt. My god, is this the best Hulk face I've ever seen. And it's definitely not... Not deserving of, like, any award or anything. But the eyebrows, I don't really think it can catch, you up, catch on it. But it looks so comic bookish that it kind of looks like he just jumped from the page of a comic book. Now he does have printed on green little spots on his hair, which I like that. I always imagine his hair becoming a little green. And this Hulk, this Hulk face kind of reminds me of Lou Ferrigno Hulk from the Bill Bixby show. Where he was actually David Banner, the birth. I never remember that. And then also a great part about this figure is the detailing of the pants. There's like even a little bit of it coming open right there. That's awesome. The you can see the pockets where there's the little second pocket, which I don't understand what that's for. Um, and jeans. You can see where the belt would go, all the creases, all the nice little notches open up. And this this kind of confused me for a second. I'm like, wait, was this just glued on? No, it, you could if you t find a way to take this off while keeping it 100% intact, it's an intact piece of soft plastic, this whole bottom part. And all the leg is green. I think that's some of the smartest engineering I've seen, where they don't have to build it on and, well, make really bad cuts. Admittedly, these cuts are terrible, because they have to paint inside them where these, they look very natural cuts, they look like natural cuts, and I like that. And it's definitely sculpted very nicely, you see the pockets back. I wish that there was more ripping towards the back, I feel that even these back bits would be kind of ripped. Some of these sides would be ripped, I feel that this should be really torn up. <laughs> now, I can't even get them fully in frame. Alright, that's sort of in frame. That's sort of in frame. Actually, Alright, so I just was raising that because I want to get to size comparison. Now, I want to compare him to the SHV Arts Hulk, but I feel that's unfair. Because this guy is technically only $40, and in a different size class, in a different section, that's sort of unfair to compare them. So, maybe only if you want me to, I will compare those two, but right now, no. Here he is with the Thanos Bath. Which, Hulk is taller than Thanos, I just have him a little hunched. But he is at least a head taller. He's at least a couple hairs taller than Thanos, but Thanos is not taller than him. Um, definitely not. And then also comparing him with another Avenger that I like, who I have the first version of. Okay. With my custom arm. There's how he scales with sort of a normal guy. And of course, why are you buying this two-pack? For the Wolverine, of course. No, I'm just joking. Here he is with the Wolverine. Sort of just sad at how short he is while Hulk remains tall. And I think this is one of the tallest figures in my collection right now because he is freaking tall as shit. Um, now, 
with this figure, you get great articulation, better than I was expecting. So we're going to go over that right now. Now he has a ball joint at the mid section, I guess. We're starting from the mid, working our way down. He can crunch that much and go back that much. They made sure that there's no breaking of the sculpt. I love that work. You don't see the sculpt really broken or anything. And also, you don't see giant gaping holes. Um, and then he has a swivel so he can look go full 360. And then, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's what you need from it. He has a hinge that can go out th that much. Double bend. Rotation. Ankle pivot, which is amazing. Hinge, hinge, and using the ankle pivots to go out as far as we can. He goes that far, and it's pretty good splits. Trying to get both feet flat on the ground. It's very hard. Uh, and let's move on to the back. Now he has butterfly joints, but they only go back, and they're so hidden that I did not realize that he had them. They go way too far back, I feel. <laughs> it's sort of, if you're getting this sort of that, like, jumping towards you, I guess it sort of works. It's like, Rrr. but if you just have it this far back, you're sort of like, eh. Then he has a hinge that goes out that much, goes fully down, 360, of course, rotation, hinge. It's only a single hinge, which kind of sucks, but okay. Rotation, hinge, hinge. Now, the head is a little different from other heads. It's actually a ball joint. It's actually a ball joint down there. So you can get phenomenal head tiltage. You can go that far back, far forward, far 360. It's just awesome. It's awesome. <laughs> so, um, this this Hulk figure, my god, I I need this painted in Red Hulk in A bomb in every version of Hulk that they can make. Please, I need this figure in Red Hulk. I really do. I want to have him fight himself. Ah, oh, Jesus. Damn it, my chair fell over. I really want to have him fight Red Hulk. I think that would be a great little thing to have. And that could be an SCCC exclusive, and I would be fine with it. Um, if you don't know, this mold is shared between him and the SCCC exclusive. But I find that fine, because... SCCC exclusives can really be anything that they want. They're not retail figures, so I'm not upset that he's being reused. Um, Wolverine, of course, you're not buying the set for him. He is very nice, better than I expected. Um, what can I say about these two? Uh, expect him to be very high on my Marvel Legends list of 2019. He's way better than I expected. <laughs> I mean, just, he's phenomenal. Uh, if you have not already, I'd recommend picking him up. He, technically, Hulk is only $40 from the situation, where Wolverine is 20 and usually the Professor Hulk build a figure, which I, I'm collecting right now, and I'll get it done soon. Um, he cost around, like, let's say 100, 100 and a little more if you're buying War Machine also with him, a and he's shorter than him. So you're getting the a great figure for really half of what a normal build a figure costs. That's all I gotta say. So, anyway, thank you, as always, for tuning in, watching my videos, liking, subscribing. I really appreciate all that you guys do. Uh, you are the force behind my channel. If it weren't for you, I couldn't do this. Just saying, because I don't usually say that. If it weren't for you, I couldn't be able to make videos, make as many as I do, and uh, have fun with videos. Um, Thank you, as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Whatever that will be, we'll see. That rhymed.